morning, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. And we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. He's on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. Vargas's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He's known for one thing, power punching. Early on here, expect to see that, right Teddy? Yeah, exactly, but it could backfire. You know, it could blow up in his face, too. The professionals, bang, but solid. Vargas is down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Halfway through round number one. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. And he ties up on the inside. <laughs> Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. <laughs> Vargas is scored upon by a... And banging away he goes. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Two, 
Vargas' trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Vargas's corner has got to get that message to him. He cannot afford to have defensive lapses like we just saw in that last round. Yeah, you know, we say this so many times in a broadcast. We blame it on the fighter, but what if he hasn't been taught those things? If those things haven't been instilled already in the gym, guess what, Joe? He's not doing them. Okay, listen. We can throw him off with head movements. That's it. Throw him off with head movements. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Today. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Good defense just covering up down low. Worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He's in bad shape. Maybe a punch or two more, and he's on the canvas. Teddy, what does he need to think about now? Well, one of the things that he can't think about, he'd love to run away. <laughs> he'd love to get away from what's hurting him. His legs are not solid enough, so he's going to have to find a way to tie up. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Halfway through round number two. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Yeah, that's it. with that headshot. <laughs> Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, Remember you got hurt in the relax, gym? And relax. then give him okay. something okay. to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things right that he up. needs to hear. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the better of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. Jump on him. Nice. 
comes right back with a shot of his own. Blocks that belt line well. Blocks that punch. Headshot lands, was a hook. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. And he's holding. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Another clinch. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Just missed that shot up top. He's working the jam. Good, good. Double up on your punch. The professionals off mark oh. all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land, but this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Watch Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. And round three comes to an end. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking he's tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? You don't need that. No, throw that away. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Well, Teddy's scorecard has him up around, but we're yet to get into the meat of the matter of this fight. Oh, what a left hand. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. The professional's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Now he ties up there. Back to the, punch. the professional swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Now hugging on the inside. Nice work, nice work. Nice block by Vargas. He 
You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Way to block there. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. You got this one. If your head moves. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Down the final moments of this round. The professional's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Okay, okay, relax now. How you feeling in there? Just stay alert in there. Vargas' legs are just fine, thank you. That was the big question. In the last round, he was damaged, but here a fresh start. You know, Joe, we talk about having a good chin all the time, being able to shake off a good blow, but this is part of having a good chin, being able to recover after being shaken out, after the round before. The professional's just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing 101. I mean, that's the fundamentals. And it has so many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense. But it controls your defense. Keeps a guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Zoning in with the overhand left. Professional's punch is far off the target. One, Halfway two. into round number five One, here. Two. Nice work. Nice work. A little give and take, nice. and here comes the left hand. Vargas's nice. movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. The professional's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Vargas is flat footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricep all over the place, but you can step a little bit, get out of range. He's doing nothing.
a lucky break. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. Don't stand in front of him. No need to get excited. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. <laughs> and he clinches yet again. Keep doing what you're doing. The professionals looking for a way to get this fight back on <laughs> course. A course that can get him a victory. This isn't it. Just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say. Vargas is solid. Wow. He goes down again. This is going to be for the elevator fight. Up and down all night. the fight the professionals a knockout victim he couldn't beat the count This fight is now over, and Teddy, it was obvious right from the beginning which way it was going to go. Oh, yeah, what a tough guy. He took so much, but he took too much. The only guy tough is his manager for taking this fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.